Hey everyone, so yesterday we learned that giraffes have a unique design of spots all over their body, just like humans have unique fingerprints on all of their fingers. Zebras also have a unique design on them. As you can see, zebras do not have spots, but they have stripes. Just like how Miss Amanda has paint all over her hands from the All About Animals video you guys should definitely check out. But anyway, just like how we have different fingerprints, zebras have different stripes. And all of their stripes are going to be black and white. So today we are going to design our own zebra stripes. We're going to do it a little bit differently than yesterday's giraffe design. So what you are going to need is you can either print out a picture, <clears throat> a silhouette, like the outline of a zebra, or I just put one up on my screen and I traced it, or you can free draw, whatever is easiest for you. I suggest keeping it on the paper and to cut it out as the last step because it's going to get a little messy. You can take a tray, a box, whatever you like, and you are going to tape it inside of your box. And we're going to need a box or something that has edges because we are going to be doing marble painting. So our paper is obviously already white, so all you need is some black paint. You are also going to need some marbles if you have. Miss Amanda does not know where her marbles are, so she's going to be a little bit silly, and you might not have marbles either. So you're, you might have to get creative. Miss Amanda is going to try to use some M&Ms. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to tape down my paper onto the inside of my box. And then you are going to squeeze, pour, depending on what container your paint is. You're going to put some paint maybe on the top and on the side. And then once you're ready, you're going to put a couple of marbles Maybe if you have some dried beans, whatever you want, some, I don't even know if there's acorns still outside, and I'm going to use some M&Ms, and I'm going to sprinkle some onto the side, not too many, and once you're done, you're going to carefully roll it around and go up and down and side to side all around so that your marbles or whatever it is, is going to be covered in paint, and it's going to travel across your paper creating stripes in different directions on your zebra. If your box or whatever you're using does not have that high of a ledge, I recommend practicing rolling around your marbles or whatever before the paint, just to make sure that you're not going too hard or too fast and you have um, black covered marbles roll across your floor or table. Alrighty, so I have some paint along my edges. I'm now going to put some M&Ms in. Wish me luck with my M&Ms. I'm just going to put them right onto here. And I'm going to grab my edges and I'm going to see if I can shake it up. So since the M&Ms are not that heavy and aren't actually round, it's a little hard for them to roll through the paint. It's almost like they're stuck in some mud. So I'm actually closing my box so I can give it a little bit more of a harder shake and so that my M&Ms, my black paint covered M&Ms are not flying around my room. So I'm really going to be able to shake it up and I'm going to hear them rolling and hopefully they're making some stripes on my zebra. Alrighty, I'm going to open up my box and see what is going on inside. Okay, so I just opened up my box and there is a mess inside, but that's okay because that was the whole point. So my paper is covered in a bunch of black paint. Um, lines going in different directions and that's exactly what was supposed to happen. I use pencil so you can't really see where my zebra outline is, but once it's dry, you'll be able to cut out your zebra and follow the lines and you'll be left with the different designs of stripes going in different directions. I recommend either having your drawing or your printout uh, version on the back. So then you flip it over and you do all of the marbleizing on the front. And then when it's dry and you're cutting it out, you can see the outline a lot easier since there's no black paint covering it. So that is how you do some marble painting or some M&M painting 
to make a, your own unique zebra design. Have fun, guys.